We are back at it again here with another video with the invest for tomorrow to the first time viewers and investors. Welcome to the channel to all subscribers. Welcome back. Here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index, continuing to fight to hold support, but continues to break through key support levels. And we're going to break it all down in today's video. But in today's volatility, our SPY bot at 9.35 a.m. sent out a bear indicator. And from that moment forward, outflows cross the midpoint to the downside. Pure weakness there on 42 vision and put options went up 200% plus within hours, guys. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you cannot gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down so here we are with the spy the s p 500 index trying to stay above the 420 area but breaking through yesterday's support at the 425 level and in today's video we're going to break down the key levels i would watch going into tomorrow what's going on with the inflow versus outflow and born bear indicators but before we do i want to share with you guys the home run opportunity that was mentioned this morning over at the Discord. So the home run of the day was spectacular and beyond expectations. And if you guys went about these stocks early on and received this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together. So the home run of the day was from our Tesla bot. It sent out a bear indicator at 7.40 a.m. And from that moment forward, outflows crossed the midpoint to the downside. Pure weakness now on 42 vision. And put options went up 100% plus within hours, guys. And as you see it pop you up there within the screen, within the options chain, some options even went higher than that. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you cannot gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots we look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day let's jump into these charts so here we are with the spy the s p 500 index breaking through key support levels and doing a full transition from white refried borders to dark green bars and back down into the dip area as i call it on 42 vision which is white refried borders here in today's volatility and if this is your first time coming across the channel this is 42 vision which allows us to see the dips from the rips the rips to the dips and where the strength and weakness lies within the charts and we also use our born bear indicators and inflow versus outflow as an extra layer of confirmation which i'm going to pull up here and you can now gain access to as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down and in today's video i'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility so here we are with the spy the s p 500 index under a bear indicator at the 426.97 area canceling out that bull indicator in the pre-market and going ahead and having these outflows cross over to the downside and those inflows crossed over for a brief moment and quickly got rejected with the outflow crossover into the open and a full transition into the dip area again and a bear indicator that popped up in the volatility now going into tomorrow it's going to be crucial and critical as it's trying to bounce back up here in the second half of the day for things to start to reflect strength into these charts eventually cancel out this bear indicator and for these inflows to follow right it needs to switch from red to green and head towards the midpoint like it tried doing yesterday and it did make a move from 425 to 428 and then it rejected right because it could not stay above it and it's going to be crucial for those inflows to start to pick up cross the midpoint and eventually stay above it right that's what i'm going to be looking for going into tomorrow and even the rest of this week that's going to be crucial and critical now 
it broke through the support we were watching which was 425 and it's finding support here so far around the 423 area which i mentioned in yesterday's video and if that got broken through the next support would be 420 but right now it is fighting to stay above it here in the live volatility again in the second half of the day now in the one hour we could see how those outflows never got back up they've been dominating it stayed below it and it's at negative 4.53 bear indicator since up here at 430 and in the volatility of the 15 minute it has been under a bear indicator since the 427 30 area and outflows crossed over into the open and have dominated all day right in the second half here as it's trying to find support to stay above the 423 area it is now trying to get these inflows back up and it's going to be crucial and critical for this to continue head towards the midpoint and even cross it that's definitely something i'm going to be watching into tomorrow's volatility and if this bear indicator can get canceled in the process now what is the first support level like i stated i'll be watching below 423 the 420 area if that gets broken through then comes the 418 to 415 area and i'll be watching if these outflows pull further away from the midpoint to the downside yesterday it hit lows of negative 5.75 and some of the lowest points that we've seen was last thursday at negative 7.6 so i'm going to be watching if it ends up going towards the negative 5 or negative 7 area of outflows or will it level off here and try to bring itself back up that's going to be crucial and critical here for the bulls especially if this bear indicator continues to stay dominating over the chart i'll be watching that as well now to the upside these inflows are trying to pick back up here on the 15 minute trying to head towards the midpoint it's going to be crucial for that to continue and not only that start reflecting that strength into these charts cancel out the bear indicator from up here at 427 with a possible bull indicator and roll that strength over here into the 30 minute as these inflows have leveled off right outflows have leveled off inflows are trying to pick up here by leveling it off but it needs to switch from red to green to start reflecting any further strength into these charts cancel out that bear indicator and get a bull indicator in the process as well and the first resistance is the 425 area if that gets broken through the next level i'll be watching is where the bear indicator popped up at 427 and then above that comes the 430 area so these are the key levels i'll be watching to the upside and to the downside the bull and bear indicators are going to be crucial i would not ignore the inflow versus outflow as it's trying to pick up here in the live action on the 15 minute on the five minute as you see it there trying to head towards the midpoint but no bull indicator just yet and i'll be watching if that strength can roll over into the larger time frames like the 30 minute and the one hour and eventually get bull indicators as well as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money